All right, we're here at the Phillips uh, Strand booth, and I'm here with Pete Borchetta, and uh, he's going to talk to us a little bit about some of their new uh, energy-saving uh, LED technologies that they've just come out with. Hey, thank you. Come this way. Actually, if I pull the cord long enough, you'll actually have to follow me. <laughs> so here we're looking at the new uh, Celicon PL1. What this is, is it's a 120 watt RGBW LED luminaire that gives us a 15 to 55 degree variable beam spread. Okay, it's all completely manual, but you can see up on the ceiling. Take a shot in the ceiling. <laughs> see up on the ceiling. What we're getting out of the fixture here, and I'm just wiggling it back and forth. Okay, that's 120 watts of LED. Now with this fixture, what we've done is we've calibrated our whites to a warm white, a cool white, and a daylight. Yep. What that gives us is 3200, 4200, and 5600 Kelvin, all calibrated from an RGBW engine. Well, we, what this fixture runs in eight or 16 bit mode, and at the same time with that, we've also given you a three channel mode. That three channel mode, we took Roscoe, Lee, Gamma, and Apollo's top 100 selling gels. With that, we've taken the top 10 out of, out of each of those, and we've put those into the fixture. That three channel mode, for anybody who has a low channel count on their console or their architectural system, what it gives them is it gives them those colors, it gives them color timing and intensity. 120 watts, calibrated whites, eight or 16 bit or three channel mode, our PL1. Now we got a little bigger with our PL3, which is right over here. More in a Fresnel style, three of those engines, <clears throat> completely homogenized beam and light source. Actually, it's hard to see here. Everything is one, one beam, not a pixelated or granulated light output. So you can see that from our PL1 to our PL3, Exactly the same, uh, exactly the same look and output. Six thousand lumens in warm white. Two thousand lumens on the PL1 in warm white. PL1 in warm white drawing only seventy-six watts. So very low wattage, very very high output, giving us, of course, all of those deep saturates that LEDs give us, and at the same time giving us those pastels and those calibrated whites because of that white chip in the in the fixture. The, all of the fixtures also can be outfitted with wireless DMX. In fact, we're running the entire booth right now off of wireless DMX. We give the ability of the end user to purchase which wireless they want. We give a choice of three. We do either wireless solutions, WDMX, City Theatricals, Show DMX, or we use Lumen Radios, WDMX as well. All fits in the same form factor as in this wireless DMX. This wireless DMX unit fits on the PL3, the PL1 and the newest family of newest member of the family, the PL Psych. Now this little psych light, <clears throat> this little psych light can take the place of a 500 watt cyclorama light. We're going to be selling this at about at the same cost as a four cell psych. This gives us those warm white, cool whites, daylights, all of that output that we saw uh, earlier out of our PL1 and out of our PL3. It uses a single LED engine drawing 120 watts, power con in and through in terms of power, DMX in and through in terms of power, well, in terms of DMX. We're also using a, a very specific holographic diffuser on the front end and a full asymmetric reflector. So if I'm not sure if your camera could pick this up, but if you actually look, you could look here at the edge of the carpet and you get a perfect line. Right, so it gives us this incredible, incredible wash of light and then at the same time spaced at four feet, I'm sorry, spaced at four feet off the psych, five foot centers, you're lighting a 15 to 20 foot high backdrop or cyclorama. So an awful lot of horsepower in a very small form factor. Very cool. Very, very cool. So what everybody's gonna wanna know, and the one thing we ask is at least street price, what are, what are we talking about street price on these things? Street, street price here, we're looking at about $1,700 here. On, on the, the PL1. PL1, PL1 right. 50,000 hours of life, so about 14 years of usage out of it. Right. Here we're looking at about 2,500, and here we're looking at under 1,000. All right. Awesome, so these are very, very cool lights, and let me tell you, it's hard on video to see, but for, for these technologies, they're super, super bright. So it's definitely something, the PL series, that you should check out from Philips. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. You guys have a good one, we'll see you later. Thank you.